Hello, my name is Vasco Araújo and passionate as I am for public speaking and media training, I want to support all of those who feel they need to communicate better in front of their audience or in front of the cameras. Today, I want to talk to you about how to overcome the fear of public speaking. We have been talking a lot about putting ourselves out there in public speaking events or in front of the cameras to promote ourselves or our company. But of course, putting ourselves out there means fighting against the fear of giving a bad image of ourselves. This is not an easy task, of course, and therefore there are specific aspects that become relevant to think about. We all know how in these events where we put ourselves on a stage can be quite intimidating. On the other hand, putting ourselves on video and sharing it with the online community means having our image spread out all over, which can also be very intimidating. So, the first task to overcome this situation is to prepare a solid speech that we will know by heart and that doesn't allow us, no matter what the level of nervousness is, to fear not knowing what to say. Impromptu speaking can be great in weddings, birthday parties, funerals or other more intimate events where we have established connection to some or a lot of the people that are assisting to our speech. In these types of situations, we speak more with our heart and because these are private events, we show some sides of us that do not belong to the public sphere, rather to our most personal feelings that can only be understood by and shared with members of our family or groups of friends. When putting ourselves in front of a camera for our own self-branding or to promote our own company or the company we work in, or putting ourselves on stage and talk to a large group of unknown people, some of them are judging us for our own speech, then the situation itself promotes stress and fear due to its unknown nature. Who is the audience online community that will see me? Will people make difficult questions or harsh comments after seeing my performance? First things first, preparation is key and therefore being followed by a communication specialist can be a great way to make ourselves assured of a great performance on stage or in front of the cameras. However, even when working with a communication specialist, there is the need to practice at home. While it is not always easy to make our family listen to our interventions, or there is no interest from our side because we know they are not impartial when evaluating our performance, we can always be our own judges. Filming ourselves has never been so easy with smartphones and it allows us to understand basic nonverbal communication behavior and tone of voice. By understanding the different tones of the pitch that we want to give, then we can easily practice until we reach a confident position and tone. We need to remember that body language plus tone of voice represent together 93% of our communication and therefore it is obviously useful to film ourselves and to be our own judges here. When we reach the verbal communication part, the pitch itself, we should remember the three-message speech as a first rule and show our script to two or three different people, especially to someone from the communication area that has knowledge on how to attract our audience with the message. Thus, some strategies on how to overcome the fear of public speaking have been here presented. Thank you for watching and please keep on exploring Disruptive Media Training's blog and videos.